And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a photo collage effect. We need a photo for that, you will find that via description link below if you want to use the same. And we need a rectangle. And this one's going to imitate our photo or our Polaroid. Let me go to the fill and stroke an object. And I've given it a black fill and a stroke paint, in this case it's red. But I got done with the size and the stroke style. Let me zoom in and you can see the join. I've set that to middle join so that we've got these sharp edges. You can make them round or beveled if you want to, but I think the sharp edges look best. So the simple method that we're going to use is to just create clipping masks, but let me resize that a little bit. And we want to use the duplicate function a lot. You can right click and duplicate or just press Ctrl D, which is the short key. I'm going to do that later on a couple of times. And it's a better size. I press Ctrl D, drag a copy on top of it. I rotate it. So I clicked again with the cursor tool on this object, the rectangle. When you position that, you can exceed the photo with the red line. So the stroke, but not with the black one. So keep that in mind. So if we now simply create a clipping mask, right click and set clip, for example, you can see that our frame has vanished. To get around that problem, we can create a second rectangle on top of the first one. So press Ctrl D here and I've got two on top of each other. And the second one, I'll get rid of the fill. So I can press this X down here and under object and fill and stroke, you can see what I've done. So the one on top has no fill, so no paint is selected, but a stroke paint, which is the red frame. And below that, if I click on the black, you can see we've got a stroke paint and a fill. So this direct angle below and the one on top only has the frame. And this is what we want to have. If I drag that now on top of the image, rotate it and then set the clip, we can still see the frame. We can clip it under objects as well. But one more tip that I want to give you is duplicate the image first, then drag this copy to the side. So once again, I've used Ctrl D for that. Then select the one where we've already got the two rectangles placed on top. Make it snap. Snapping should be enabled so that it's in the same position as the other image. Put it to the front, then only click on the black. Shift click on the image, so both are selected, then right click and set the clip. And that's the way to do it without running into the problem of rearranging it a lot. So I always duplicate now this rectangle or the two rectangles and I always duplicate the image. And then I drag this one on top. And then I click on a black, shift click on the image, right click, set clip. So depending on how many photos you want to have on top of the image, you have to repeat that process time and time again. Let us go through it once more here at the bottom. So I press Ctrl D on the image, drag the copy to the left. Then I press Ctrl D on my two rectangles, put the copy on top of my image, click again to rotate it. When I've got it positioned, I put it on top of the other image. Then I click on the black and the image below while holding shift, both are selected, right click and then clip it. When you don't need more photos anymore, you can delete the image in the background. And this is what we wanted to have. Let me create a black background. 
I put that to the bottom. We don't need this one on top anymore. And let me select all of the photos. Then I go to the stroke paint. And now I want to make it white. You can just select the flag color here and change it to white. And that's basically the effect. But you can see we need to work on the order. So let me delete the black background. And I'll show you what I mean. So just select the photo that you want and then use the top menu to bring that to the top. And you can see that solves the problem with the frames. So wherever you've got these overlaps, you can work on that this way. And if I create a black background, you can see what we've got here. And this is how you can recreate this photo collage effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.